We all know that Garmin have been around a while with their sat navs, but now for the first time, they're coming into the phone market with these, the Nuvi phones. Now the idea behind this is for people that really do use their sat nav a lot on their phone, especially in their car. So the idea is basically that whilst you're driving along, if you get a phone call, you don't suddenly not want to know where you're going. What this will do is have the map and then if someone does call you, a small icon will come up in the corner of the screen and say, hey, your mum's calling, do you want to take this call? And whilst you're taking the call, it will continue to show you the directions on the map which is very useful and will presumably keep you talking and not getting lost, which can only be a good thing. Now, the other thing that they're boasting with this is uh, chow, which means that if you've got friends who are signed up to the Gypsy Network, which is an alternative to something like Twitter or Facebook, it will scan the surrounding area. And if you've got contacts on your Gypsy Network who are around, it will instantly pop up and say, hey, do you want to navigate to these people? Hey, are you lost in a campsite and you need to find your friends? this is where they are, which sounds fantastic. There's also Google Local, so if you're looking for Chinese, uh, you can stick in your Chinese details, hit go, and it will automatically send you via the sat-nav to the nearest Chinese. It will recognize addresses, put that straight into the sat-nav software, which is fabulous. You've got not one, but two options with these new phones. First up is the G60. Now, this is a full touch screen device, which you can see here. And like most touch screens, if you move it around, it will change the orientation of the screen. Now this is based on Linux, which mean it only, it means it only has full email. So it's not fantastic if you're a business user. If you want something more business focused and quite frankly, quite a lot more attractive, like so, this is the M20. Now this is based on Windows 6.1, but they have actually completely reskinned it. So it looks a little bit more attractive. And in theory, shouldn't be quite so buggy. Um, the other thing that this has, obviously being Windows Mobile, it's got push email and video capture, although they don't think the video playback is going to be coming to the UK market. So there you go, there's your two options for your Garmin newbie phones. Sadly, we don't have any details at the moment as to whether they're gonna to come to a network, whether they're gonna be SIM free, but you can expect them at the end of Q2, beginning of Q3. <laughs>